Hello everyone, my name is Ash, and welcome to my crafting corner. Today is going to be the last plastic 3D printed figure, I will be making a video about, from now on, they will be all resin printed, I'm excited to make higher quality prints for you all to see. Ain's paint job on his robe is mostly a dark blue, with multiple layers of it. And I mean, like four layers. Here is the final layers on the three robe parts, it took a lot of paint to get this to look the way it is. This, was probably my favorite part of the whole paint job, the staff. It was so much fun to paint and yet, made me angry when I was doing the gems. Go over a black base coat with an airbrushed gold paint, it's so satisfying to see the gold cover and take hold, it really pops. I think it took about 2 or 3 coats to get a good coverage on the staff.
His little shoulder parts are painted the same, base coat in black, then paint gold. The staff of Ains has six different colored gems. Try to be very careful as to not get the red paint anywhere it shouldn't be. I was lucky the red, blue and cyan gems didn't need more than two coats. Sadly, the yellow gem, needed like 5 or 6 coats to actually show, it might have been a better idea to repaint it white, then go over with a yellow. Green was also an easy one to get done. The purple was about the same as the yellow gem, hindsight is 2020, as they say.
After each gem is fully painted, cover them in a single coat of gloss varnish. There are three gems also along the body of the staff, they are just colored using the same cyan as the gem in the staff head. Go along the cuffs of the sleeves with a base coat of black paint, then begin to paint over with gold. I made sure to mask the area as to not get the base or gold coat anywhere else, I didn't have any of my dark blue paint mix left, so I had to be very careful. The hat, or is it a helmet, was simple, yet getting a good handle on it was annoying, if anything.
His massive shoulder pads are also masked to not get excess paint in areas you don't want. The red orbs for his shoulders and at the bottom of his rib cage are just painted in a normal red paint, then covered in a gloss varnish to give it a simple shine to them. The bones of ants in a lot of pictures and art, aren't really a bone white, they are a more grey color. Which sadly, the camera didn't really pick up really well when I was recording and only noticed during editing, but I wanted to include the footage, as the model for the ribcage is super awesome. The head of Ains is pretty much this color the eye sockets black, and some tiny, and sadly hard to see red dots, then paint some black lines along them to look like cracks. I bought a super fine brush after I finished him, and looking back, I kinda wish I hadn't painted the lines before getting the brush. And with the paint job done, it's time for the glamour shots. I want to thank you all for sticking with me through this longer video. Ains was a big piece, with lots of parts that needed different colors, I will leave a link in the description box to the artist who made the amazing model set, if you can, 
check out their work. The next video will be the first resin piece ever.